What is up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Scorps, and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell on Five Months Old Track, I super duper love you. Same, 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 same. This is a bi weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio. This could resonate in your Scorpio sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, personal reads are permanently closed. However, donations are super duper greatly appreciated. You can donate through my PayPal, which is Piper605. Um, the only thing I ask with that is one, you have to do it through my PayPal. Two, you have to use my link, which is High Priestess Tarot 5. The link is in the description box below if you need it. And three, after you donate, if you decide to donate, after you donate, there will be a drop down. So just make sure to clear it out and put in donation. That way everybody's on set page for tax purposes. I super duper appreciate it. Just saying. If you think anyone could benefit from these messages, Scorps, if you wouldn't mind sharing these on your social media, whatever social media platform you use, like Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, IG. Uh, Parlay Mayway, I would super appreciate it. Just saying. This could resonate your Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Spirit messages you have for um, Spirit, can you clarify the Ten of Wands upright for Scorpio, please? Spirit, can you clarify the star reverse for Scorpio, please? Let her take them. Spirit, can you uh, clarify the Ace of Cups reverse for Scorpio, please? A uh, masculine Scorpio is going to try to manifest a feminine energy back into their life. It is not going to be successful, is what I just heard. A masculine Scorpio is going to try to manifest a feminine energy back into his life. I heard it's not he's not going to be successful. However, that resonates for whatever Scorpios. Spirit, can you clarify this a lover's reverse for Scorpio, please? Too many lies and drama is what I just heard. Too many lies and drama in the past is what I heard. So too much lies and drama in the past is I'm assuming why he is not going to be able to manifest his feminine energy back into his life. So however that resonates for whatever Scorpios. Spirit, can you clarify the moon upright for Scorpio, please? Her take two. However, this masculine energy is going to be bombarded with other feminine energies and to try to come back into his life. I'm, I'm sorry, to try to come into his life. I heard to try to come into his life, not back into his life. But they will be very low, low vibrational. You really need to be careful is what I heard. Okay, so I heard it might be the same 
Scorp masculine Scorpio that's trying to manifest a particular feminine energy back into his life. Um, but I heard, um, or not, you take it how it resonates, but I heard um, a ma masculine energy might be the same one or a different one is going to have a lots of low vibrational feminine energies try to come into his life. So I heard you need, really need to be careful with that because they're very low vibrational. Um, they're not going to be good for you, basically. So, you, you know, you can take it how it resonates. Um, you can choose to listen or not to choose to listen, but that's what I heard. So you, you take it how it resonates. All right. This is meant for December 2020. <clears throat> However, there's millions of billions of people in the world and tons of Scorpios. So for some of you guys, it could resonate now in December, some January 2021, some February 2021. Just saying. On and on. All right. Starting off beginning your reading, we have um, Ten of Wands Upright, which is the biggest ass burden in the throw. Some Scorpios have had a lot to deal with in the past and recently, but they're dealing with it one step at a time is what I just heard. Okay, I heard a lot of Scorpios have had a lot to deal with in the past and recently, but you're dealing with it one step at a time, so you're getting get her, getting it done one step at a time, which is the way you, know, you should do it, so that's awesome. And then Arrow, you were on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. One step at a time is the best way to go about this. Is what I just heard. One step at a time is the best way to go about this. So whatever situation this is in your life, it's causing a lot of stress, a lot of burden, a lot of tension. But I heard um, from Spirit, one step at a time is the best way to go about it. So the star reversed, which is um, not being in the public eye or no success um, in the situation. Or you could be dealing with an Aquarius because this is a star card. You take it how it resonates. January. Some Scorpios learned some very important information in January that really could have helped out a family. But they chose to withhold the information. It's going to come back for these particular Scorpios, it's going to come back and bite them in the ass big time. It's what I just heard. Oh, wow. I heard some some particular Scorpios. Now, obviously, I don't think this resonates with all you guys, just for maybe for a few. I heard um, learned some very important information about a family and that really could have helped out a family in the past. And it sounds like January of 2020. But I heard uh, whoever this resonates with, you chose to withhold the information. But I heard it's going to come back and bite you in the ass in a huge way soon. So for how this resonates. And then dark woman, dealing with a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. For some of you, this information regarding the family, the feminine energy in the family this resonates with okay i heard for some of you um the information you chose that you learned that you could that could have helped this family um it sounds like the feminine energy in the family unit is this person so this person um could have um dark complexion or dark hair however that resonates and for some of you you chose to consort with the enemy and it's this person okay and i heard for some of you you, cho you chose to consort with the enemy and the enemy is this person and for some it's both it's both oh wow my god i heard for some you chose to consort with the inner enemy and the enemy is this person so it could be a person with dark complexion or dark hair and i heard for some of you it's both situations so for how that resonates good lord And then Ace of Cups Reverse, which is um, um, a emotional or creative venture that went south. A new emotional or creative, creative venture that went south. So something very, very new. So it could be a, meeting someone new, very, very new, like conversating with them. Or like a new thoughts of a creative venture, like maybe thoughts of a new painting or a new project. But just thoughts of it. Just something very, very new. Or just 
conversating with the new person, but it went south. So maybe this person um, was interested in you uh, romantically or to even conversate socially with you, or um, maybe you decided not to do the new creative project. How that resonates. And then heart, love, deep affection, and caring. For some of you, you just met new people and they're not going to be interested for some this is the person you're trying to manifest back into your life and it's not going to be effective because of karma from the past okay i heard for some of you guys it's new people um you just met and they're just not interested and for some of you guys it's the new person i meant not the new person the person from the past that you're trying to manifest back in but it's not going to be effective because of karma from the past so um, I heard previously in here there was lots of drama, um, drama and uh, lies from the past for that person from the past that you really want to manifest back in for whoever that resonates with. And then Haystack, Karma, you will read what you have sown. Yeah, I heard a Karma from the past. So, And um, I heard, you know, someone's trying to manifest someone back from the past um, that they really will, won't back in their life, but I heard it's not going to work because of lies and drama and karma from the past. But on the other end, if it is the same person, you're going to have lots of low vibrational people trying to come in. So you're going to, you, there's a particular person you want, but you're, it's not going to, I heard from spirit, it's not going to happen. But there's going to be tons of other people coming in, trying to w come into your life and want to be in your life. But I heard they're very low vibrational. They're probably just going to try to use you or try to take what they can get. So you're going to have to be aware with that, how that resonates. And then the lovers reversed. So I think this is for those of you that, um, well, the new person that's not interested, obviously, and the one that the ones that are trying to manifest in the person from the past that I heard from spirit is not going to work because of karma from the past and draws, I'm not draws speak drama lies and um karma from the past success you really really want success with this one particular person but it's not going to happen you really need to wrap your mind around this is what i just heard Heard you really, really want success with this one particular person. I think for those of you, it's the one, that one particular person from the past you're trying to manifest back in. But I heard from Spirit, it's not going to happen, and you really need to wrap your um, head around that and realize that it's not going to happen and basically move on in life. Um, how that resonates. And then Acts, forces working against you. There's going to be big chain of events that are going to happen soon. It's going to force out truth from the past you're not going to like. You're not going to get the relationship and big negative consequences are going to occur from this. Oh, wow. I heard... Um, big chain of events are going to happen soon regarding this i think trying to manifest this person back in from the past that you want back in your life possibly or it could be how or some other situation how that resonates but i heard um you're not only going to get the person you're not only not going to get the person that you don't want uh, you're not only not going to get the person that you want but a huge series of chain of events are going to occur that's going to force out some kind of information from the past that you don't want out and it's not going to go positively for you. So, um, wow. We got forces working against you. Absolutely freaking lovely. Yeah, wow. Some Scorpios are helping bring this information to the light. Is what I just heard. Some Scorpios are helping bring this information to the light. So some Scorpios are helping bring this information to the light. It could be on another Scorpio. It could be, um, that's how it's sounding, but you take it out, it resonates. And then the moon upright, which are secrets. Secrets um, being still being um, in the dark. So they haven't come out yet. And I think it's these secrets that, uh, it sounds like a particular Scorpio, doesn't want coming out. Um, 
but they're about to come out. It sounds like they're about to come out in a huge way. And then towards spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. <clears throat> Someone is very in tune with the universe and they have completely moved on. You need to, some really need to understand this. That's what I just heard. Okay, I heard some, um, for so apparently some Scorpios need to hear this, that someone, um, I think it's this person that you want to manifest back into your life uh, romantically that I heard from spirit is not going to work because the drama lies in karma from the past. Um, but I heard from spirit, this person has basically moved on. Um, they're completely in tune with the universe. They're very, in, they've been very enlightened spiritually and they're moving on. Um, and I, so apparently a Spor Scorpio or Scorpios really need to hear this. So for however that resonates. And then forest muddled, unclear thinking. Once these these huge secrets really come out publicly, a particular Scorpio is going to be very off kilter. Hugely publicly embarrassed. But in all fairness, you did not take any action in the past to make it better. That's what I heard. Okay, I heard um, once these huge secrets come out, and it sounds like they're about to come out huge, um, a particular Scorpio is about to be very off kilter and off balance once these um, secrets come out. Um, but I heard from Spirit, in all fairness, you didn't take any action in the past to make it better. So you didn't help try to make whatever situation this was in the past that apparently is these huge secrets that you don't want coming out, um, and they're about to come out, you never took any action to make it better. And I think, just think this is for a particular fig for you, too. But I heard somebody's about to be very off-kilter once these secrets hit. And I heard they're about to hit publicly. So, for how that resonates, I mean, that's good. So, let me get you some Butterfly Oracle, and then we'll close it. Spirit messages, do you have some? Okay. Self-care. Gracefully aging. Grief work. Self-care. Some Scorpios are doing a wonderful job at, at self-caring. Keep up the good work. Other Scorpios really need to focus on taking care, <clears throat> putting themselves first, and not letting people use them. Is what I just heard. Oh, okay, so I heard some Scorpios are really doing a wonderful job at self-caring. So they're really go, um, going within, self-reflecting. They're really putting themselves first. They're really taking care of probably their body, maybe skin care regimen, um, eating healthy, exercising possibly. I heard you're doing a wonderful job and congrats. But I heard for others, um, you really need to do a little better job because some people like, um, some Scorpios are letting people take advantage of them and basically walk all over them and mooch off of them. So heard you um, really need to be aware of that. And then um, gracefully aging. Some, some self-care regimen have really helped with their um, aging process. It is really, you can really tell. Good job. That's what I heard. Wow, somebody's really taking wonderful care of their body and their probably their body, their mind, their whole deal. That's wonderful. Or someone's doing a wonderful job and it's really showing on their physical. So like their probably their skin, um, their hair, their nails. Their maybe they've lost weight and they just look better, and, and which makes you, in turn makes you feel better. And helps the mental space. Um, so I heard someone's doing a wonderful job in that and keep up the good work, basically. Go with your bad self, Scorps, whoever that's resonating for. And then grief work. Some are going to have a lot of grief work to do after you realize you're not going to be able to manifest this particular person back in your life. But it was over years ago, and you have to realize that. Okay. 
I heard some part, uh, a particular, maybe one or two of you possibly, but you take it out, it resonates. It's going to have a lot of grief work to do once you realize for this one particular, whoever this is resonate with that wants to manifest this person from the past back in. Um, but it's not going to be successful. I heard this person has basically moved on years ago and it was over years ago and you have to wrap your head around this and realize this. So well, however that resonates for whatever Scorpios. All right, we're done, 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 done. That really wasn't too bad of a reading, you guys, for real, for real, for real. Um, personal readings, uh, close. Donations, super duper greatly appreciated. I'm a single mom raising two kids. I've raised them by myself for almost 10 years, so all donations are super greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart chakra and my kid's heart chakra, I'm just saying. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys have a wonderful holidays and namaste.